the 112th Holy Convocation. We've gathered ourselves together here to celebrate our God and our Christ. We ask now that you would minister grace to our hearts, challenge us, and provoke us to a deeper level of living. Grant our hearts to be receptacles of truth, for that truth would make us free. We thank you now because you've given us, as we come as living sacrifices, wholly acceptable, which is our reasonable service. We want to thank you for the body of Christ. We want to thank you for the church of God in Christ. We want to thank you for the leadership of our church. We want to thank you for this day. This day as we come, Father, we submit ourselves unto you. You said, come asking, seeking, and knocking. And here we are. Here we are today. You have postured us. You postured us for signs, wonders, and miracles. So we're believing you for this day that you would insulate us by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that you would challenge our hearts even the more. That you will release upon this 21st century people a first century anointing that will destroy every yoke, that will bind every hindering spirit. In the name of Jesus, Father, insulate us right now for those that feel defeated, discouraged, and depressed. God, we pray that you will lift up the bow down head and strengthen the feeble knees. And God, we believe you now for a mighty move of God. We want to thank you now because you have preserved a breed of a man and a breed of a woman for such a time as this. We thank you for the Moseses. We thank you for the Elijahs. We thank you for the Pauls. But God, we want to thank you now for the Joshuas and the Elishas and the Timothys and the Tituses, oh God, for this generation. We believe you now that you will grant a mighty move in signs, wonders, and miracles that you will grant the fruit of the lift, the labor of our hands to be blessed of you. God, we want to thank you right now because you're granting a spirit of impartation. You're releasing an anointing for this hour. Our world is sick. Our world is diseased. Our world is depressed. But God, we thank you for the church of God in Christ. For you've declared in your word that if we would humble ourselves, if we would turn from wicked ways and seek your face, that you will grant a healing of the land, you will forgive sin. And here we are as your representatives today, representatives of holiness. We thank you right now. We thank you for the privilege that you've given us. And here we are operating in kingdom principles. And we believe you for this season of our lives, that God, you will grant those that will come after us, our sons and our daughters, God, that you will grant them uncompromisingly to stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ is made free, to walk worthy of the vocation wherewith we are called. We believe you for this hour, for this day, oh God, that you would grant our hearts even now to be strangely warmed, even as you have preserved us and you brought us to this season of life. God, I pray now that you would just grant us even now to maintain the standards of holiness and righteousness and godliness in this wicked world. And we believe you to lift us up to where we belong. God, we thank you right now because this is the day that you have made. This is the day of our deliverance. This is the day of our breakthroughs. And God, we pray release and relief in the name of Jesus. God, crown our heads with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Strategies and strategies for such a time as this. Even now, Father, that we would rise in, in the season of life. And that, God, we will give you praise, glory, and honor. Grant us to be persistent in our walk with you. Grant us, oh God, to be uncompromising. God, we thank you right now. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you right now for the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And, God, we pray now that you will grant our hearts, our hearts to be sensitive to the voice of the Holy Ghost. The voice of the Holy Ghost. The voice of the Holy Ghost. Release here today. Yes, Lord, help us to divorce ourselves from ourselves. That your name will be exalted in this season. That your name will be exalted. For you've declared in your word, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. And God, we thank you now. 
for the wisdom that you've imparted upon our fathers. We thank you now for this season, for the sons that are coming on behind. But we'll believe in you, God, that even now, we will go from glory to glory, go from strength to strength, in the name of Jesus. Satan is a defeated foe. Satan is a defeated foe. The blood has not lost its power. And we thank you for the blood of the Lord Jesus. Cover here today with the blood. Cover it here today with the blood. Insulate us and preserve us even now. And God, we forever give you praise, glory, and honor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And God, as we have converged upon the city of St. Louis, while we're glad to see one another, we came to experience your glory. Let your glory be revealed. Let your glory be revealed. Let your glory be revealed. Let your glory be released. Have your way, God. Come on, lift those hands and just say it with me. Have your way. We need a release of your power. Your unlimited power makes much possible. And we thank you, God, for releasing your glory, your Shekinah, your Kabah. Release the weight of your glory. Sit on us today in the name of Jesus. God, we came to have a divine encounter with you. We came to experience you. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Someone came looking for deliverance. Someone came looking for a breakthrough. Someone came needing change. God, you're able to do it. Now unto you that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think. And we ask you now, move in the midst of this, your people. Touch, heal, and deliver. Set free by your power in the name of Jesus. We're waiting on you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We decree right now that we won't leave the way we came, but we ask you now to permeate this building. Walk through the America Center in the name of Jesus. Every crack and every crevice be filled with your glory. As the saints are coming, let them be blessed and healed in the name of Jesus. And we'll be careful to thank you for it and give you honor and praise. Come on, clap your hands and celebrate God. Come on, clap your hands and give him a praise that he can move in the midst of. Have your way, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, we pray for our presiding bishop. Strengthen him now in the name of Jesus. From the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, the general board, our saintly mother, those who serve. In the name of Jesus, we thank you as we come to experience you. And we believe you're going to do it. And we don't have to wait until it's done. But we can thank you in advance because we believe that you shall manifest your word in this place. In the name of Jesus, we pray for fathers that impart into sons. We pray now that men that have dreamed dreams, they shall see them come to pass. That pastor that's here, that travel from where they are, give them strength now. In the name of Jesus, let every song, every prayer, every word that is spoken give glory to you that we will experience you in all of your glory and we believe you to do it and we thank you for it in advance. Come on, tell the Lord thank you one more time. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, it is amen and amen.